What's going on, everybody? This is Mario Brown, and today this is Empowerment for Life. This is my second platform, uh, and we're talking about relationship realities. I want to talk and give a message to people that have somehow mishandled us because they have horrible character. And we want, you know how we are, we get in relationships with people, whether that's friendships, uh, family relationships, marriages, dating relationships, whatever. Uh, and we hold people in high esteem. We treasure the relationship. We try to honor it. And then something happens that exposes horrible character. All right. And the person starts mishandling us by really taking us for granted. You know, this is so real because I've had several conversations about this. And this is the truth. There are people that when you let them know that they mean a lot to you, in these friendships and relationships, uh, because of their character flaws, they start taking advantage of you. They start believing that they almost have preeminence. They can live any kind of way, do whatever they want to do, because they know that you're going to be that person that's going to always be there for them. No matter how they behave, you are always going to be there to be like Jesus, look beyond their fault and see their need. They never forget that you once were vulnerable enough to believe that this relationship was really special. And then all of a sudden, that, that horrible character in them shows up and they start acting a fool and mishandle you, all right? So you go through that whole scene with them of trying to figure out what happened, yada, 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 yada. But something in the, in the mix of that, something happens to you. Something, it's almost like you get woke and you recognize the fact that you know what? This is who this person really is. This is who they are. And so we, you, it's a rude awakening almost that this person has been this way all along. But now I'm the victim. So then you try to be nice, you know what I mean? You talk it out, you work through it and, and see how everything can work out and everything. Uh, but in the process you become acutely aware that you had a problem too. That you gave this person, this friendship, this relationship too much credence and you begin to put them in a, in a position where their character didn't matter because you needed the relationship. See, they mishandled you, even though they were nice, y'all had cool moments, but then they somehow had this, this spot, this space where they were all that to you. But let me help you with this. Once you all reconcile and come back together, somehow or another, some things start changing, right? Because they no longer look the same because their character is messed up. Their character has proven that they have been this way all along and that this person is going to do this again because it's who they are. So this is the thing they never counted on though, is that during this whole matter, God would take them out of your heart. Y'all better hear me today. This is relationship reality, that God would take them out of your heart. And some kind of way, when you all reconcile, they still believe that they have that same space and that you're still enamored with them and you're still taken with them. And there's still all that in the bag of chips. But let me tell you something, when a person's character is exposed and you see them in truth and integrity, they ain't even cute no more. They ain't even fine no more. You are not even the least bit attracted to them anymore because they have horrible character. I'm telling you, hear me today. And so they're still walking around believing because you are tolerating them. You're conversing with them. You are being nice to them because that's who you are. You're nice. I'm nice. So, you know, you try to be nice and Christ-like, you know what I mean? And so they believe that somehow or another, you still feel them like that. But let me tell you something about bad character. It will corrupt a person's vision about you and it'll do it to the point that they no longer find anything about you attractive. You still got the same body, same smile, same whatever, but because you are ugly in character, they no longer feel anything for you. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing about you. You know what I'm saying? They're not caught up anymore. They're not caught up anymore. And this is the important thing about this whole matter is that 
they somehow still believe that they hold this position, right? They still believe that they hold this position when the fact of the matter is they don't. They no longer have that position in your life anymore and they start getting messed up. They get really, really, really messed up because they no longer hold that position. And they have to recognize this. They really, really have to recognize the fact that you're no longer taken with them. And so it's amazing to watch them still believe that. And it's the furthest thing from the truth. So I'm telling you now, the message today is you no longer have this spot. You've been disqualified. Your character your character has disqualified you because you don't know how to act. And what I once felt for you, what others once felt for you, is no longer there because your character is horrible. It is absolutely horrible. You know what I mean? So you don't deserve that. So this is the relationship reality today. Let people know. D listen, don't get it twisted. The devil is a lie. Don't get it twisted. That you still hold that position. I don't care what said. How nice a person is. When they finally wake up and God takes you out of their heart. This is a message to y'all. When God takes that person out of your heart. They need to recognize. Nothing you can do can ever get back there anymore. Because that place has been cleaned out. Sealed. Healed. And we done moved on. And you never are even viewed the same anymore. Okay. So share this video, share this video. This is empowerment for life. This is relationship realities. This is what's up. Take care. Let me know how this is working for you. Tell me about your experience. Let's talk about it. Talk to you later.